I have received some Hall Effect Sensor Switches. I bought ten of them. They came in individual wrappers. Okay, so I'm going to see if I can use this one with an Arduino. Okay, so this is the breadboard that I'm going to be working with. I've still got some components on there from another project, which I'm going to leave on there for now. I'm just going to work around them. Here it is. It's a very small little object. I'm going to see if I can wire it up now. After a bit of rummaging around in various boxes, I have found my Uno. Okay, I think I just worked out how this works. I've only just had a good look at that diagram. The output goes low, I think. Okay, so I'll pull up the output and then see what happens. What I've just noticed is With suitable output pull-up, they can be used with bipolar or CMOS logic circuits. I'm going to be using a CMOS logic circuit. Oh! I put the magnet nearby the switch. And we can see there, the output drops to pretty much nothing. Move it away, it comes back. If I put it a bit further away and then slowly move it towards the switch, we should, there we go. So it's either on or off, so I'll move it away. Now interestingly, I'm going to put it the other way around. So this is the other way around, I don't know which side is north or south, but let's just move it closer. Closer. Okay. And there we go, now it's touching. So that way round, it doesn't do anything. If I just move it to the other side, there we go. So that is the other side. Okay, so like this, or like this, it is not switching. But if I turn it the other way around, it does. The output has now dropped to pretty much nothing. This is an even simpler setup. I'm just using the Arduino to give the 5 volts. You can see here, this one is ground and this one is 5 volts. Now looking at the diagram, we can see that when the switch is switched by a magnet, the output pin is pulled low. So I have got the positive side of the LED going through the resistor going to the 5 volt supply just a current limiting resistor you can see when a magnet is put the right way around near the switch it will drop the output to ground therefore allowing the current to flow from the negative side of the LED through it to ground simple as that here we go Simple as that. If I turn the magnet the other way around, it doesn't light. It may do as I go over, but now nothing. Now. I have connected the Arduino back up. Now, every time the magnet goes near and goes away, one is added to a counter 
This may not sound that useful or helpful, but I've got an idea for something which involves using this, which I'm going to complete at a later date. So I'll just a quick look at one of these little hall effect switches sensor things. Main project information may follow soon, but I don't know whether I'm actually going to do it yet. But that's all for now.